part of what we're doing here at WBONTV.com and advertise with us, email us at information at WBONTV.com or send us a message on Facebook or Twitter. Our video stories now have over a million organic views and over a million people reached organically. Get watched, get noticed, get Richmond's very own, WBONTV.com. We've almost made it to the weekend. Until then, I'm Marissa Hempel and this is your Thursday News Brief from WBONTV. A Richmond man was recently taken to custody following multiple occurrences of trafficking in marijuana. According to the citation, 34-year-old Solomon Whiting had sold marijuana to a confidential informant on multiple occasions over the summer. Then this week, over 10 ounces were allegedly sold again by Whiting to an informant, leading to a search warrant of Whiting's home. Upon searching his home on North Street, officers located nearly $9,000 in cash, over 5 ounces of marijuana, as well as paraphernalia. Whiting allegedly said he owned all the confiscated items, but did not cooperate with police further. He was arrested and charged with three counts of trafficking marijuana in differing amounts. Bria police have advised that there's a recent scam going around involving their Walmart location. The agency posts on Facebook they've taken several reports of people falling victim to a secret shopper scam at the Walmart. The scam is advertised on Facebook where people can sign up and are then sent a letter and a check. Then they're instructed to deposit the check of their bank, then withdraw cash, then go to Walmart and purchase three blank money orders in different amounts. At some point, then they have to provide an address where they're supposed to send the money orders. This is obviously a scam, but to those that are not aware, please ask that you please spread the word to those that may not know. They remind that no legitimate survey will ever ask you to cash a check and then send money. And a UK student has pleaded not guilty in connection with a threat made towards the university on social media. Students at the university have sent screenshots of Snapchats from 19-year-old Haley Duval, who made threats to bomb the Whitehall classroom building. UK reported that the threats have been found to be unsubstantiated and classes continued today as normal in the building. However, to err on the side of caution, there have been increased police presence and security placed in the area. Duval was taken to custody and charged with terroristic threatening and falsely reporting an incident. UK police report that she could also be facing federal charges in addition to these. And if you need plans for tonight and are interested in true crime as well as local talent, head on down to Apollo Pizza for the last Pages and Pints event of the year. Tonight at 8, you'll be able to hear from UK professor from the College of Law, Richard Underwood, who will be reading from his latest work, as well as author Natalie Sipple. This is your last chance this year to rub elbows with authors while grabbing a pint or a pizza at the Richmond location on South 2nd Street. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.